Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in today and I want to welcome all my new subscribers and I want to say thank you to all my regular watchers. I'm so happy to have you here and yeah I hope you will have some fun. So today it's just a random video so to speak so I have some happy meal. I want to share with you what I'm currently working on my started pages in the month of April and so I can give you a little bit of information what I did from my calling back so far and um, yeah so but before we get started I want to shout out um, Cola Pascal from Instagram who has actually followed my call along for my Christine Karen page um, for the whimsy fairy Celise, which I did with the castle art pencils and yeah thank you so much Pascal your page turned out fantastic absolutely stunning and yeah thank you so much please check her out I will give the information from her Instagram account in the info box below and she's a great colorist so and yeah, okay, let's start with the Happy Mail first. So this is actually um, a dear color tuber asked me um, if we wanted to order an, a book together. And um, I want to show you some detail. Isn't that beautiful? My art is nothing without your colors. And in a moment I will reveal <laughs> um, from which artist this coloring book is. And um, yeah, then the person also added a few yeah pages for me from her own um, stash of yeah books and stuff. And she added this very cute postcard from Clara Macover. And I have to say, this is my first um, yeah piece of art of Clara because I I don't own any of her um, books yet. Maybe I will. Um, get one with my Colopoly game we will see and uh, yeah however I got this really really cute card and now I can finally color my first image by Clara Makova thanks to um, Julia and then she also added two pages from yeah I will just display it on the screen because I can't recall the name of the artist right now but uh, this is of one of her books and the paper is like really um, structured. This is, I think this will be very good for watercolors or any water medium. And yeah, this looks actually just like, like fun projects. Uh, very whimsical, very cute. And I think I would like to start this one first of those images. But yeah, so <laughs> this was just some Happy Mill. So now let's check which um, book she um, helped me to order. And I thought that I would never ever... Ah, oh, here it is. You can see it. It's Amarantine. Amarantine? No, Amarantine. Coloring book by Anastasia Ali called The River. And... After my last experience, um, when I ordered something from Etsy, actually I didn't order directly from the artist, but over Etsy, and then yeah, it went directly to the custom service, and I just uh, it was a little bit annoying to get there and pick it up, and that's why I don't order anymore from yeah Etsy those books because they are too expensive, and then automatically go to the custom service, but. Um, Julia ordered directly from Ali and um, yeah the book itself was actually quite cheap for such for such a gorgeous book I have to say but the postage was yeah extremely high I think it's even higher because of COVID still and that's why we ordered it together uh, yeah to save just a little bit of um, postage actually and really cute here on the back side there is this sticker and a stamp and that's really gorgeous it's just absolutely gorgeous 
and absolutely love this book and have to start this book very soon, I hope. Maybe I will put this in my calling back for May. We will see. So that was my happy mail. And now um, I have the result from um, your voting for, uh, yeah, from my community choice round in my Colopoly game. And there I ask you to help me to choose a page by Mayumi Ogihara. And I do have a draw on Sunflower and Winter Garden. So on those two pages here, actually. Um, yeah, Sunflower, Winter Garden. And yeah, I have two votes for each of those pages. And because of that, I don't know which one I shall color now. And therefore, I put up another poll on my community tab. Um, so please check out my community tab and take part in the poll to help me, yeah, to choose finally which page to color now. <laughs> I would love to color both, I have to say, but I don't think that I will manage to do that. And yeah, so um, Please, if you watch this video, head over to my community tab and please vote which page I should color. Uh, and then you will see the finished, the um, colored version in my completed pages video at the end of June um, or the beginning of July, maybe. And yeah, uh, it would be a great help. So, and we need a clear decision this time. So, <laughs> because I just had a look a few moments ago and it was again a draw. So, <laughs> yeah, please head over help to find which page, yeah, needs to be colored. So, thank you for that. And now I want to show you the pages that I was working on and I just added one other book to my calling back and it is Mein Spaziergang durch die Jahreszeiten by Rita Berman and I started to call in this book because of Sammy because Colin chat with Sammy she has a call along for this page you can do the um, yeah both both pages so the double side spread or just one I decided to do only yeah one side of it and um, yeah I did I started this page actually last no I started it yeah on the week uh, the Easter weekend actually I didn't have a lot of time and then I saw something quick or what means quick but I thought something easy would be nice because I wasn't really in the mood to color and you will soon find out that I have started, yeah, 1000 whips, so to speak. And yeah, this is just one of those. And, and yeah, I don't like this page actually a whole lot because um, I don't like actually the color that I chose for those eggs. And uh, so, but I have to finish this one. It would be my first page in this book by Rita Berman. And yeah, hopefully I can do that. And then I also started <coughs> a page in Botanicum by Maria Troller. And I did start oops, this page here. And this page I actually um, yeah, colored with the Crayola blend. No, with the Crayola signature blend and shade colored pencils. Um, it's a pack of 50 pencils. Um, I have them new and yeah, I wanted to try them. And because I desperately wanted to try them, yeah, I started to color this image actually. Um, yeah, I still put, I still um, have a few pencils in my tray. So these are the Crayola signature shade and blend pencils so far i i think i like them the colors are nice and bright and the pencils are very yeah dusty soft and um yeah i think 
I think you have just to get used a little bit to the pencils. Every pencil is different. Every paper is different. What's that? So, uh, and on this book, yeah. First, I didn't like them that much, but I think it's just a matter of practice. Get to know them and then it works a lot better. So this is the started image in this book. I had a lot of fun um, coloring, but I couldn't focus on one page. So I actually haven't finished one page in April so far, which is a pity kind of. But I don't regret it because, yeah, coloring and starting all those images was just so much fun. So, do I, so I don't regret that I have like a ton of new whips now. And I hope that I will be able to finish a few of them this weekend. So this is the Color Yash Wild 3. If you watch my coin back, then you know that I wanted to do something in this book. And yeah, I actually started this image here with a poppy. And yeah, I love this one. I just um, base layered it with a new color tube. And then I went over with pencil on the hair. The rest is um, not yet shaded. So this is my first whip. And I just go kind of quickly just showing what I'm working on. I don't want this video to be too long. So this is the Dark Fantasy Special by Coloring Heaven. And I didn't do anything by Annie's for quite a while and I really wanted to. And I also want to take part in Sammy's um, hashtag or call along. It's a year long call along. Um, Coring Haven stash attack or something like that and yeah this would be the perfect opportunity to do that and so I started this image here by Anis Guerrero and so far I have actually only um, I did only a marker base with alcohol markers and then I went over her skin and shaded it with polychromos and I also added in a little bit of Prisma colors so I used both of those pencils and yeah, I can't wait actually to continue this one, but that goes for all my whips. I can't wait to work in all those um, books and continue them. And then I have this new book, A Fairy Lives in Every Garden, and this is by Destiny Lovitson. And I absolutely love this book and it's so much fun to um yeah to color those um cute fairies here the um pages are i would say like smaller projects you they all have kind of a frame this one has a little bit more of a background but the main image is this cute small fairy and it's so much fun to color those um little fairy faces um at first i didn't know because it is um, it is this line art, right? It's no grayscale or something. This is pure line art images, but it's so much fun, so easy. I do actually just a alcohol marker base, as you can see here. And then I went in with some Prisma colors to shade it, uh, to give it a little bit of shading. And those faces look so cute when they are colored. And... I mean, they look cute before they call it, but when they call it, they look even cuter. And this stuff I call it with the, um, with the Holbein pastel set, because I saw a video on, um, Emma Colors 2020. Yeah, and then I just wanted to grab them and use them. And I also started <laughs> just, just this little fairy face here. Yeah, I could go through this book and just color all the faces of those fairies because, yeah, they are just so cute. Um, yeah, so didn't do a whole lot on this image so far. Um, I want to use this opportunity to mention a freebie page that you can get by Destiny Lauritsen. So let me just, yeah, lay this aside and then you can get this image as a freebie from Destiny Lauritsen when you actually join her newsletter. So she has the creative calling circle. Whoops, Allah. Oh, I think you can't see it. It's here. 
the creative calling circle and this is yeah actually nothing else than a newsletter that she's sending out once a month and uh, yeah then she's adding i don't know if it will be every month but this month you can get actually this image free totally free and i love it i absolutely love it so um you just have to go to her web web page or website and there is a tab which is called the creative calling circle and there you can just sign up for the newsletter so i will link her instagram account and also also her um yeah have a page her website so that if you like you can just join it and i actually um would love to color this image still this month because um when you color this month until the 28th of april then um yeah then you have a chance to get featured in her next newsletter actually and she is i i believe that she is quite new so there are two books out this is one of them the other one is a mermaid book which i will feature in my may coloring back <laughs> because it's mermaid and um yeah i absolutely love her and she needs some support so yeah just check her out and i really love this art so much fun to color it so easy quick you use here you can also see framed image so it is a yeah just a fun project and okay let's continue and then i absolutely fell in love with color and chicks coloring book two this is the fantasy fairy portraits by daria Rolls or daria uh sakir soy i don't know how to pronounce her name that's yeah my pity and um yeah she has also those cute fairy images these are grayscaled and these are fairy portraits in this very cute style and i started um, this image i also like that these are frames so they are also smaller projects this is a princess fay i colored in her face and i did marker based everything with alcohol markers because uh, the paper is of course a little bit thinner even though this is a hundred gram paper so a little bit better than the usual amazon printed paper but still thin so i like to do marker base or neo color base some kind of base actually and then go over with pencils with prismacolor or polychromos i like it the best at the moment but i will find out how much i like other brands um, on this paper uh, yeah i would love to color the whole book actually it's so much fun the faces are so cute so absolutely adore it and then i of course i had to start another one from this book and yeah i started the steampunk fay here and i tried to give her some eyeshadow makeup and some really red lips i think i never did those red lips before usually i have more like a pinkish or uh, red violet lips but yeah this is how she looks her face is done actually and now i need to continue with the hair and all her dress everything is marker based with uhuru markers as well and yeah so i really love this book i think that i will do a whole lot more from this book this is really just fun fun projects okay i started more <laughs> okay this one you actually already know because this was a whip that I started with and I actually just continued it a tiny bit I marker based her dress her, her wings and I colored in all those um, little um, details like also here this one yeah so I just continued this one a little bit and it's not a whole lot to do to finish this one here but um, yeah i i just had so much fun to work on multiple pictures at a time so just last weekend i started 
seven pages or worked on seven different pages, I believe. Yeah. And then I also started this um, image here. This is from the Flower Girls book. So the uh, Flower Girls coloring book by Lydia van Wyck. Um, I got enabled with this book by Erica from Anne Colors. And I started this sunflower page from this book. Um, yeah, just started actually her skin. Didn't do anything else so far. Uh, and then I had just started it. Then um, Erica contacted me asking if I would do a body color with her. I have to be honest, I was a little bit shocked. But then I thought, because I didn't know which book she was speaking of. <laughs> I couldn't um, remember, um, yeah, because there are so many books that I called something with flowers and girls. So first I didn't know which book she meant. And um, then when I yeah, realized that she were actually talking about the book that I had in my uh, April bag, which she enabled me with, yeah, I was actually yeah, quite interested and um, yeah, curious. I, I didn't do a whole lot of body colors. Uh, body coloring yeah because I really have to be in the mood to uh, color something and um, yeah but yeah this was one of the books that I wanted to work in so it was just perfectly fine so I have one other started image which I won't show yet because I don't want Erica to actually see um, yeah my started um, page it is the Lupina page from this book also very beautiful and um, this is the one that I'm focusing on at the moment because I don't want to fall too far behind with the body color but yeah um, yeah I think I will just have two finished pages from this book and why not they are beautiful so this was flower girls coloring book by Lydia Fenwick and now I want to show you two digital pages that I just bought yesterday. And the first one is this cutie by Daria Draws. I will just call her Daria Draws, Colin Chicks. Daria Sakyosoi. Don't know. Uh, but, and this is a sp spring cleaning <laughs> page. And there will come, maybe there is already, a video from Daria in which she shows how to color this image. So if it's out already, I will link it. And this is so absolutely cute. And as I enjoy to color her cute faces at the moment so much, I really would love to color this one. And then I just found that, um, yeah, Christine Karen has also a very cute image. It's a little bit smaller because of the wings and the setting. Uh, but this is also just a cutie pie. This is Dreamy Faye by Christine Karen. And yeah, also just lovely, just adorable. And if I had uh, all the time that I want, then I would call her all of these. But hopefully, yeah, hopefully I will manage to finish something in April. And then last but not least. Yeah, last but not least, I wanted to share my Patreon rewards for this month. And um, so just quickly, actually, this is the page from Hanalin this month. I love this page. I would also love to call it this one. This is the reward by Mayumi Ogihara. It's a monarch butterfly. Also very beautiful. So both of those pages are beautiful. Then I'm a Patreon to Rain Coloring. Um, I just um, joined her, I think, last month or so. And for only $2, I get three pages every month. So I find this is a very good deal. And this is also by Rain. And this is my favorite from this month. So this is one that I really would love to color, actually. Then this page is by Eva Nikunen. 
and um, yeah I just like this style so I will be a patreon for a while um, I joined her a few months ago and yeah just love love this art and then I have um, Annie Guerrero. I just joined her um, this month, last month. Yeah, I think this month I just joined her and this was because I started to color the image that I showed you a few minutes ago and I just noticed that I absolutely love her um, style. For a while she was a little bit too dark for me but now I'm back into her stuff and yeah, I want to call it from her and yeah, so I joined the Patreon and this is the um, this month's page. And this one, last but not least, is by Jana Prosverina, um, Jana Fairy Art. And yeah, this is just a cute image. I also would love to color this month. So <laughs> yeah, I would love to color those all. So, and that's actually all for today. So, um... Yeah, this is all that I'm currently working on. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video so far. Um, yeah, if you like, let me know which of those whips you would finish the first or which artist you enjoy the most of those. Yeah, I know this this month I'm very the cutie style. I just haven't colored this cutie style for a while now. And yeah, now I, I need a cutie overload. Uh, let me know if you know Destiny Lauritsen. It's really worth to check it out, actually, I think. And yeah, that's all for today. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope I will see you in my... Oh, just, just one more thing before I go. Just one more thing. At the moment, I'm not really in the mood for creating a whole lot of videos. So... Um, of course, there will still be videos from me, but maybe not that many because, as I just said, I haven't finished one page in April and I really need to change that. So I really enjoy calling at the moment. So I want to spend most of my time for calling at the moment. So please bear with me. I will get all the videos and all the requested things as soon as I can, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so... So that's all. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you in my next video. And until then, um, take care, everyone. Happy coloring and bye.